This thing right here is called the tippy top. It's just a toy, but how it worked stumped physicists for decades. You can start spinning it with most of its weight at the bottom, but eventually it'll flip over and most of the weight will be at the top. The reason it flips over has to do with friction and the shape of the tippy top. So the bottom part of the tippy top is a sphere, and the geometrical center of that sphere is a little bit higher than the actual tippy top's center of mass. So you can't spin the tippy top perfectly up and down. It's gonna be more at an angle. Now, imagine a line going vertically through the center of mass. This is its rotational axis. But since the center of mass isn't at the geometrical center of the sphere, the point of contact with the table will be slightly to the side. This causes the top to drag out a circle on the table as it spins. Now, as it goes in that circle, that friction with the table will exert a torque on the tippy top and slowly rotate it until the stem touches the table. And then the friction from the stem will exert a final torque to flip the tippy top upside down. Even a simple toy like this can have some really interesting physics behind it. You just have to stop and think about how it works.